Hey, New Direction and all those watching, my name is Harleta Gillison and I've been blessed to bring today's topic, which is on forgiveness. Uh, today is day seven. It's a word to encourage you. Hopefully during this time, I, I, it's now the end of week one and bless you if you've made it this far. Me, myself, has fa I've fallen off already, So, but I'm back. Praise God. So I just want to say that I know this, this is a struggle. It's, it's not easy, fasting or forgiveness, which is what I want to talk about. So in, when I think about forgiveness, as pastor asked me to do forgiveness, um, I'm often uh, reminded of the scripture where Peter asked Jesus how many times, you know, should he forgive his brother? And he asked him if seven was enough. And, and Jesus simply said 70 times seven. That is amazing. You know, again, it, when I think about forgiveness and I think when Jesus says 70 times seven, I'm thinking that's how many times he knew he would have to forgive us. He knew that the forgiveness that we would have to show others first came from him. He knew we were born into a sinful nature. So he knew as many times as we forgive, the Bible says that he forgives us of our sins. And so I want to encourage you and myself to um, just know that forgiveness is for you. And I know when it when people say that it kind of, you know, depending on how heinous the act is and depending on what it is, we judge based on, you know, if it was someone that owed us money or, you know, someone did something to a child. We try to judge what, what forgiveness looks like. But again, forgiveness is for us. It releases us. It doesn't release the person. It releases us because the more we forgive, the more we do that pleases God, he heaps blessings on us for it. And so with that being said, when I think about 70 times seven, I, I try to apply that. I try to say like whatever that person did, yes, does it hurt? Yes, that pain, anger, um, disappointment, it's, it's there, yes. But that same anger, pain, disappointment that we feel, God feels it every time we sin. So. Can we forgive? Yes. Is forgiveness a feeling? No, it's a commandment. It's a commandment that we do what pleases God, that we do more of pleasing him so that we can be blessed. So as we, you know, press forward and in this fast and thinking about things that, you know, we want to recommit and rededicate Think about, you know, those that maybe you haven't forgiven or that have done something uh, hurtful to you. And just think, just forgiving them gives you the blessing. So when we go about our day, just thinking about 2020 and how how horrific that, you know, we've seen people lose lives and you just think. I could have forgiven someone that maybe that's my blessing. Maybe that's where, you know, I was saved through that. I was saved from a car accident because of something I did to please God. He blesses us in so many ways. And so hit the reset button because I feel like God gives us uh, uh, every day we wake up. God gives us another day to reset. He gives us another day to get it right. And no, it will it be easy every time? No. Is it going to get easier? We pray it does, but not necessarily every every act or every uh, uh, issue that we face will have its own consequences, but we have to still remember we are children of God. We are set to, you know, forgive and do things that are pleasing to him. So in your walk, I just want to encourage you to just know God loves you. Hit the reset button because he hits it for you. So every morning. So let someone who has angered you or upset you that you, you know, don't want to forgive or it's hurting right now to forgive. Just know they deserve a reset just like we do. With that, I just want to encourage you. I love you, NDC. Bless you all. And I pray this encourages you and helps you along your journey.